Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and I'm with the SolidWorks Education Team. Welcome to the first video in the SolidWorks SAE Baja video tutorials. These videos focus specifically on using SolidWorks as applied to the SAE Baja competition. They will be similar to some of the videos you might have already seen that we did last year for the Formula SAE competition. In this, the first video, I'll be covering how to model the frame using weldments. Most of these videos will cover advanced functionality of the SOLIDWORKS software. So if you're new to SOLIDWORKS or this is your first time modeling, it's highly recommended that you do some of the tutorials first. The SOLIDWORKS built-in tutorials can be accessed in the upper right corner by clicking on the arrow next to the question mark and then clicking on SOLIDWORKS tutorials. This will bring up a list of all the built-in tutorials. Everybody watching these videos should be familiar with the getting started tutorials as well as building and working with models. Specifically, for this video, I highly recommend you do the weldments model, as it will walk you through many of the basic features of using weldments, which will be critical in modeling a Baja frame. Before we begin modeling, there's one more thing I'd like to draw your attention to. The Baja SAE rules have very specific guidelines about how you should design the frame. When working with the frame model, I would recommend having a copy of the rulebook or a window with it open readily available at all times so you can go back and reference and make sure that your frame is conforming to the rules. Most of the pertinent information and rules governing tubes and frame members are covered under section B8. Now we're ready to start modeling. I've gone ahead and opened up the completed model so you can see what it'll look like when we're done. And then I'll go back to the beginning and walk you through the steps I took to model the frame. You should also note that there are a lot of different ways to do this, so don't feel like you're stuck doing it the way I show you here. You'll notice we'll actually take a pretty different approach than the Formula SAE vehicle. For Formula SAE, I began by using the suspension points and used those to drive the design of the frame. Many teams will choose to do this for Baja as well, and if you're using that method, I recommend referencing the Formula video. In this case, I'm going to be starting with a profile of the frame since the Baja rules are much more specific about the required frame parameters. I'm going to jump back to the rules real quick where you'll see this diagram under section 8.3.3 that gives this same kind of view of the frame and how it should fit with the frame template. Based on that information and our own needs and design criteria for the car, I've made this side profile view of what the frame should look like right on the center plane of the sketch. The handy thing about this method is it's going to allow me to do a lot of my frame modeling in 2D sketching versus 3D sketching, which is how we did it with the formula car. This is just mainly a matter of preference. If you prefer 3D sketching, you can always just start doing it that way. Making this initial sketch is then going to allow me to make all of these initial planes for important parts of the frame, or things like engine mounts and skid plates. Second, I've modeled in many of the major axes that I'll be using later on in order to map out the actual frame points. This process can obviously get a little complicated, and I'm showing everything here so you can see what it's like, but feel free to hide some of these when you're not using them. Also notice that over on the left hand pane I've actually renamed a lot of these planes and axes to the names of what part of the frame or vehicle they belong to. This is going to help a lot later when I'm trying to model the actual frame tubes. Next I've gone ahead and modeled out the firewall and then the belly pan as well as some of the skid plate. You'll notice that nearly all of these are done using 2D sketches. Once again this is kind of a departure from how we did it with the formula vehicle. But in my experience, I found Baja frames to be slightly more 2D sketch friendly when modeling. At some point though, it does start making sense to use 3D sketches. Here, near the end, where I'm just actually putting in the sketches of some of the frame members, such as the side impact member, the front bracing member, and basically the rest of the roll cage, I have decided to use some 3D sketching. This definitely helps with getting some points, like this one right here that doesn't really lie in a plane but then I connect it to points that I've already defined using 2D sketches. Now that I've got most of the front roll cage done, I'm ready to start actually adding in frame tubes. To begin this process, click on Structural Member underneath the Weldment tab. Select the path that you'd like to add a frame tube along, and then select the dimensions of tubing you'd like to use right here in the Selections menu. You'll notice that I'm using a custom weldment profile. The built-in SOLIDWORKS ones probably won't have exactly everything you need, 
Creating a custom weldment is fairly easy. You can find it under help or also if you watch the formula video I go through it in a little more detail. The basic process is to just open a new sketch. On the front plane create the profile of the weldment you want to enable. Go to file, save as, and save it as the second item down, a library feature part. Under the directory you installed SOLIDWORKS in, there is a data folder and then a weldment profiles folder. Save it underneath there, making sure to save it as whatever name you want it to show up in the weldment profiles list as. And then from that point on, it will be available under the size category for weldment profiles. You're now ready to fill in the rest of the frame tubes like I've done here. The next step is to trim all the tubes to how they'll actually be coped on the frame. Trim and extend is also available underneath the weldments tab. The most common way you're going to be doing this is a simple end trim, but you can select different types of coping. First you select the bodies you want to be trimmed, and then select the tube that is not going to be trimmed as the trimming boundary. As you can see on the right, with all the joints here, there's a lot of trim and extends I need to do, but this will give me a much more accurate model and also help when trying to calculate the frame weight. Just like the front roll hoop, I've gone ahead and done a similar process for the real roll hoop, using a combination of 2D and 3D sketching to sketch out all the lines of the frame members and the points. As before, fill those all in, and then make extensive use of the trim and extend command. That concludes the first video in the SOLIDWORKS Baja series of tutorials. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future video topics, please email them to me at sfalconer at solidworks.com.